If I will be very blunt, government policies have really not helped the private sector. That is where we are sitting right now, and we have to be frank about it. If you want to do business in Ghana, then you have to be prepared. Being a Ghanaian to do business in Ghana, you have to be brave. Many a times it looks like we don't support our own. I have tasted it, I have slept with it, and I'm living with it. And it's quite dangerous and difficult. Um, I always try to be honest with my business. It's about time we build strong indigenous businesses. If Ghana will have 10 top businessmen, how much did we pick from IMF? My business can generate government $3.2 billion every year. Is government looking at me straight? If you build five of my businesses and you want to go to IMF, you can call McDan, you can call Margin. You can call the rest. It's happening in Nigeria, back door. Says, so give me a billion dollar, give me a billion dollar. We inject three billion dollar into the economy. That is the straight private businesses. I have read the two manifestos of the two parties. Honestly, I don't believe in manifestos, but I believe in national agenda. If we all scale towards one national agenda, and have one straight policy to say to ourselves that this is what we want the next five years to be, four years to be, ten years to be. We want to build the greatest businesses in this country. We have everything. I was listening to Trump yesterday and he made very pronounced, straightforward statement towards the private sector. And I believe that we have to really get serious. Sorry, it's President Trump. President Trump. Elect. President elect Trump. And I believe we have to be very serious in this country. We can help government. We have to help government. This is our country. We don't have any other country to run to. All my investments is in Ghana. And what do I do? What do I want to? We have to put all our resources in here. I can tell you that living in a country when government, the politicians who sit down and will drive policies for the private sector, who understand business. I've had many occasions when I've walked into a minister, whatever I explain, he doesn't understand. And he will never understand. And this is the guy taking decision for me. I've been in private business for over 13 years. And I'm telling you that this will work not for me, my selfish interest. But think about it. A politician who had not even built or employed three people in his own life will, will, will sit and not um, come out with a policy for me who is paying over five, seven thousand people. And our job is to, our, our business as entrepreneur is to create jobs. Government business is to aid us to create a job for them. So, if you cross Ghana, we are doing well. My only problem is at the time the politics of winner takes all.